So the more we play this game, the more legendaries we unlock, in turn being able to play around with higher tiered mods. And that's why I bring you today the ultimate weapon for both single target damage and adds bunched up. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So the weapon we are taking a look at today is called I believe this is pronounced the Daimyo. I could be wrong, I normally am. And for those that know uh, of this weapon and how to use it, we'll probably tell you it's quite a little beast. It's a burst SMG, but it does hit pretty hard. Now its tier 3 mod is the same as what we see on the Thunderbird, Ultimate Storm Whip, where shots bring down lightning, which at a level 50, deal just over 74k damage, which has a 1 second cooldown. Now a pal of mine runs this on his pyro and absolutely loves it. He said that what he'd done was apply the tier 2 version of the Storm Whip to get basically double the lightning shots. So he's got Ultimate Storm Whip and he's got the tier 2 version, which is pretty beastly as through my testing, the single target damage output was pretty potent. But for me, the thing it was lacking was taking care of those groups of ads running at you at the same time, where we've seen plenty of the later stage expeditions and it can be pretty hard to deal with them. So I knew the answer to this and it's a mod we see on a couple of pistols in the game. Pistols like the Disintegrator and the Bolt and Thunder. These weapons have a tier 3 mod on them called the Strings of Gauze. Shots link up to 5 enemies in a 5 meter radius and if the weapon is at level 50 it will deal 79k damage to each of them. And this mod has a 2 second cooldown. I knew this was the right choice for this weapon and well the outcome is pretty brutal. Now I will state my build right now in terms of abilities mods and the entire skill tree, I am using middle tree trickster by the way, it's built for a very different purpose over firepower and DPS. If you've seen my one shot build you'll know what I mean. So what you are seeing here on screen now will only multiply if you have the means of firepower within your build or buffs to assault rifles. But even for me I could see this thing was great. It made easy work of most enemies but what was best about it, which is what I wanted when comparing these mods, was to be able to concentrate damage on a boss or elite enemy, but at the same time take care of all these smaller annoying adds biting away my ankles. And this does that great. Now like I said you can do this to the Thunderbird too, for all you guys out there who prefer and have builds that are built around assault rifles, and while the outcome is more or less the same, it's ought to be crazy. So if you are looking for the ultimate 4 weapon, lightning absolutely everywhere, raining down from the sky and chaining up to 5 enemies, dealing maximum damage, this is for you. Either the Thunderbird or the Daimyo, this will be great on. You just need to have had and have dismantled either the Bolton Thunders or the Disintegrators and you are good to try this out. Now I do plan on bringing crazy other mud combos and if you have any in mind please let me know. You can hit me up on my Twitter or Discord, both are linked below. I obviously have a few ideas, but it's good to learn about new ones. Obviously, I haven't unlocked every weapon in the game yet. I'm, far, I'm actually quite unlucky, I'm not going to lie to you people. So there's still a few weapons I am chasing, but I can't wait to earn them, play around with the mods and bring you guys what I find. So yes guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn the notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, if you try this out, let me know what you think about it. Let me know how it suits your build. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.